Let's take a look here at defense and depth. And so there are seven layers of security that Azure wants you to know. It kind of maps up to the uh, uh, shared responsibility model. A lot of times we see these things when um, uh, organizations or, or cloud, cloud providers are talking about their um, security centers, like the actual data centers and how they're secured. But this is more general. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to apply to a uh, data center but uh, let's go and work our way through inside out. Okay, so at the core we have data. Uh, so access to business and customer data encryption uh, to protect our data. Then we have applications. So um, applications secure and, and free of security vulnerabilities. Then you have compute. So access to VMs, ports on premise and cloud, the network, limit communications between resources using segmentation and access controls, the perimeter, so uh, distributed de denials of service protection to filter large scale attacks before they can cause the denial of service for users, identity and access, so control, uh, controlling access to infrastructure and change uh, controls, and then you have physical security, so limiting access to a data center to only authorize personnel. So the idea is that if you really want to, do, like if you want to get to data, you got to go through all these steps here. These are all the la uh, layers of defense. Um, and so I just want to give extra emphasis to um, this one here, identity and access, because this one's like the besides the physical security, this one's the outermost one. So they they will say like your 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 perimeter. Like the modern perimeter is defined based on your like your identity, okay? And we'll see that more here in this course. 